Our old buddy Justin Raymond joins the Safe Charter Fishing Fleet today as we pursue staging kings in the trench off Henderson Harbor, New York. Now today's program is all about how to fish them with Twinkie rigs, how we tie them and present them to these late season fish. Today's Bill Safe Outdoor video production is all about how to be successful fishing Twinkie rigs for late season kings. On a Dipsy Diver here with a meat bite, running the Twinkie rig on that that we're going to show everybody when we come in here. Good bite, 105 feet, Dave. 105. See the Dipsy Diver coming right there. What's your counter say, buddy? About 50? 40. 40. Okay. A little bit to the left, Dave. You're okay there, bud. Actually, I want him that way if he can go that way. We'll get him right over there to the left. Nice and easy. What's the top line here, Dave? 86. 86. Perfect. There he is. Rolling up on top. Looks like a fairly silver king. Line down to him. Nice and easy on him coming up. Nice and easy. I didn't see how far he went on the strike you happen to look. 360. 360. We took about 100 feet there, so. Here he's coming right now. Coming right now. A little bit, uh, a little bit to the left with the boat. Gonna strip this line. Smooth this rod. Okay. Coming, yeah. Line down a little bit. Here he comes right here. Right, there's the wire. He's backing up now. He's gonna back right up. I'm gonna take this line. Got him right here. Came up here. Get it, Dave. There it is, right there. Wait till you see the size of these mega kings that we're taking here today. Just mega, mega kings. Look at uh, just a tremendous, tremendous fish. Look at the size of these mega kings that we're taking here today. Here it is. Jolly Green Johnny Lighted. I'm telling you right now, everybody who knows me knows that I absolutely will not, I don't care if you give me a million bucks, I will not hawk a product that doesn't work. Dick Pools Pro Troll Flashers, especially these lighted. Dave and I have been on them, Dad's been on them. Dave, the last two years they've been money in the bank, haven't they? Absolutely. Look at how, look at how far he ate that. He is just way, way down in there. So here's the Pro Troll Flasher that we're using, lay that right in the ground. And here's the Twinkie Rig. We've got a Hulk Fly. We've got a Chiquita and another Hulk going back to a two-tone green bait head right there with a Michigan Stinger Ballyhoo. And uh, that thing has just been a deadly rig today at 255. Is a big, big dude. He is an absolute slammer. Fantastic staging king, Justin. That's a perfect example of what a big September king should look like. And lo and behold, he comes on the Twinkie rig set on a Dipsy Diver at 255. As everybody on board admires this fish, let's go to the Westview Lodge for a segment on how to tie and prepare Twinkie rigs. Well, that was a great king that Justin just took uh, on the meat rig on the Dipsy Diver. But now we're back at the Westview Lodge and we're going to talk about how to actually tie that Twinkie rig and what the methodology is behind what we're doing. Um, it's been fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon in all of our videos up to this point in time. And now we're going to make a little bit of a departure. What I've got here is Trilene Big Game and 50 pound tests. This has long served the Safe Charter fleet very well, and uh, we're gonna tie the meat rigs up with that. I'm looking at, you've heard me talk about 41 and 48 inches on our, uh, on our fly rigs and our, and our bait harnesses, but when we're tying for a Twinkie rig, we tie a little bit longer than that. In fact, the number that the Safe Charter fleet has ended up dialing in on pretty tight is 52 inches. Now, here's the business end of what I'm going to show you first. And this is critical. Come on right in here with the camera and let's take a look at this. This is Adia Hook. This is Hercules, uh, 2X Strong, 
no cutoff and no bite off. If you go back 15 years in the safe charter fishing fleet, George Rinaldi, one of my mates and I, were putting two part epoxy in the belly of the hook. David Adia did this on his own. He drops a bead of epoxy in there that's phosphorescent. It's glow. And the reason that he does that is so when that hook goes in and the king switches direction, the line peels back into the belly of the hook and pinches off. Everybody thinks they're getting a bite off. They're not. It's called a switchback, and the line drives down into the belly of the hook until it pinches under pressure to such a point that the line separates and the king comes off. So Adia has taken the time to develop an actual hook that's got that bead of phosphorescent material keeps the line from penetrating and now on your bait rig if you're not tournament rigging it with a siwash hook you can run a single and be sure that you're not going to have a switchback situation where the line parts so that's what it's called no cut off no bite off and uh, and that's the hook right there it's a size one so the first thing we're going to do and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to take exception to this but you know what I don't care I'm showing you the way the safe charter fleet does it we're gonna put that 50 pound test into that hook and I'm gonna lay my finger on it and I just happen to know from working with this on a regular basis that it's 14 wraps four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen wraps and now what I'm gonna do is I'm Snelling that I'm just going to bring that line back up through the hook perfectly and I'm going to snug it down that's it it's in position it's tied exactly the way that it's supposed to be now I'm going to pick the bait head let's take a look right here on the table at what we've got here we've got some dream weaver heads really good I've taken a lot of kings on them here we've got some Reese Davis heads absolutely fantastic and here we've got a lure jensen head take a look at this lure jensen head see the sweep that's as close to how i naturally bend a bait head to get the action and the roll that i want this is a well thought out head the aperture where the uh, line goes through to the hook and you set it with your toothpick and the and the hole coming through the head here are big it's easy and rough water to tie that um, the Dreamweaver bait heads, sometimes very good head, very good producing head, but we have to get in there with a knife or a, or a pick and we need to modify that a little bit. Plus it's very brittle plastic. It doesn't give you the opportunity to bend that and take a set and adjust the roll of that bait in that particular head. Still a good producer, but not the same amount of flexibility that you have with some other heads. Here's an old Reese Davis head. I love this plastic because look, Look at the bend I can put in this. I can pinch here, and then I can put a bend in it. Now I've got the kind of roll that I want in that particular head. But regardless of which head you choose, and these will all work, we're gonna pick one that we can rig with today that we know is gonna perform very well. So what we're gonna do is we'll take this, we'll take this Reese Davis head, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread the line through the back. Just like that. then we're going to drop it straight out the top of the head see where it comes out the top of the head just like that there's a hole in the bottom of it and we're going to pull that through we're going to pull that head all the way until the hook is just about there then we're going to take a toothpick right off the bat we're going to take a toothpick and we're going to drive that point into the end of the bait head drive it in there heavy we're going to break it off so that that hook is pinned in position now we want to set a twinkie rig i want to color coordinate as much of this as i possibly can i'm going to use three chartreuse speeds and i've got a chartreuse head so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take two chartreuse squid bodies and you can use either flies or you can use squids these squids come from p line there's eight in a package right there you can get a variety of different colors or you can tie a twinkie rig up 
with the Hulk fly, the Chiquita fly, the Caddyshack fly, many of the different flies that we use here in the Safe Charter Fleet, you can tie them as well. In this particular case, I'm going to demonstrate with a squid. These squids, I need to clip the nose and open up a hole so that I can thread those squids in the Twinkie rig. I want to be able to thread them onto the line. So I cut a little hole in the tip of each one of those, each one of those squids. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take one of these trout beads. I'm going to put the 50 pound test through and I'm going to string it down to where I want it sitting on the line. We're going to use three squids in this particular Twinkie rig. We'll drop that on. We're going to loop that into position. I just looped through that twice. Went through once, came back through it a second time. Now if you want to move that bead on the line, all you have to do is push a little line through, slide it up the line. We want the uh, beads and the squids equidistance from one another, but we want this bait head just a little further back off the action. So once that bead's in place, the way we're going to rig this is we're going to run a chartreuse squid first. So we're going to actually send the line through the body of the squid. We're going to run it right down until it butts up against that bead. Once it's butted up against that bead, we let it set right in the body of the bead like so. And then I'm going to gently grab that squid and I'm just going to pull the rubber over the top of that bead. And look at that. It sits right there on the line. It's just absolutely perfect. Tying the rest of the Twinkie rig is just a matter of repeating the process that we did on the first squid. We loop tie the second bead into position. We've run a green squid in the first position. Now we're running a glow squid in the second position. And in this Twinkie rig, we'll be running a green squid in the third position. They're all approximately 8 to 10 inches apart on the meat rig line. Once that's done, those three squids will be equidistance apart with the bait head trailing just a bit further behind. This is the general setup for the Twinkie rigs that we run. We've got the bait head right here and you'll notice it's a little further back off the action than the three squids. Now I just happen to know when I hold this hook here and my right elbow or my left elbow here is at 90 degrees that that's 52 inches. So the last business part of this that I'm going to use is another Adia 60 pound test ball bearing swivel. Just a big cross lock with a ball bearing swivel. And I'm just going to tie that on using an improved clinch. I'm going to go through once. I'm going to go through a second time. Just like so. Get looping it. I'm going to go one, two, three, back through both loops, and back through the main loop. When I'm done, I'm going to pull it down tight, and then most importantly, I'm going to wet that knot because friction kills monofilament. Once I'm done, shrink it down with my uh, with my thumbnail. Take my clippers and I uh, pop off that tagline. Now, that thing, that Twinkie rig, is completely done. I've got drop back, it's 52 inches. I'm running that behind short paddles and or long paddles. It's right here at 52 inches. I've used the Reese Davis head. If I want to bend this and change the, change the action, I can do it. It's already pinned in position. This thing is absolutely ready to go. There is a perfect chartreuse rig. Here is an example of a Dreamweaver rig with a spatterback, a spatterback head right here. And you'll notice on this particular, on this particular setup, we're using our flies. We're using Chiquita and Hulk flies to create that particular. So now we've got a, uh, we've got a chartreuse rig. We've got a green and chartreuse rig. And of course, here's another example of a chartreuse rig 
where we're using green, white, and chartreuse squids in the mock-up of that particular Twinkie rig. 52 inches, 50 pound test, trilene big game because it's super, super tough. But the key, key ingredient is that hook that David Addy had developed for us with the phosphorus uh, two-part epoxy in the belly of the hook. That'll glow up in the morning. You put that, put the light to that, it'll glow in the morning in addition to glowing your head and having the meat in there. It's just that added extra measure of attraction, but it'll keep switchbacks from happening and uh, it's a tremendous hook. It's 2x strong, but it's thin enough that it penetrates the bone or penetrates the skin. They get up on that bait. Make sure that when you lay your bait in that hook, that it's the tip of the bait is right here on the barbs. It's, it's riding just a quarter to a half an inch inside of the meat on, uh, on that bait hook harness. You want that meat to lay in there just like my index finger is, just like that. A perfect hook that's going to save you an absolute ton of kings. We appreciate so much that uh, he built those particular hooks for us so that we can tie these meat rigs and also uh, our fly rigs. Justin Raymond has got another big king on, on the meat rig, on the diver. We're in the trench. It's trench warfare time here at Henderson Harbor. And the big kings are biting everything that we're taking in today's video from 25 to 30 pounds. That's what it's like in late August. And early He's December. locked on right here. And what we've got is a deeper diver loaded with a Twinkie rig and meat behind uh, a Pro Troll lighted Jolly Green Johnny Flasher. That's the second time it's gone here this morning, Justin. Right. We missed the first one, but you were uh, you were on that one like a bum on a ham sandwich. I was on that one. <laughs> We're experimenting with a few things today. Got my buddy Dave Dengari working the wheel. What else we got working for us today, Dave? Carbon, a silver carbon 14 with a rotator down the middle. Taking some browns, some Lakers, and missed a couple. It'll go again. Yeah, it's, in fact, there's a fish on it right now. There's a fish on it right now. You want to grab it? I'll, I'll film you grabbing it. It's going right now. Wind down on him. There he is, okay. There he is, who's up? Come on, guys. Doubled here. I'm gonna get the rigger coming up right here. Justin's got a king up. We got wine on that guy. We got a brown and or laker. Put him right at the wheel, and you can not, Dave. We got a brown or a laker here on the rotator with the carbon silver carbon 14, and we've got uh, a nice big king up on the meat right here with Justin. Here he comes, Dave. He's here. Step him to the right just a little bit. Here comes that rotator right now. There's a pro troll rotator. Coming up, you can see there's no action to it. It just spins. Wind down, wind down. Is that what it is? I'll Ra take that. Raise we'll your rod tip. Back up, back up, back up. Look at that. Yeah. Big old white fish coming in right there. Three different species in an hour. Look at that. Look at that big old white fish right there. Three different species in an hour. Show them that, show them that silver, silver carbon 14. There it is right there. We charge that baby up in the morning and it's just hammering these fish. How's yours doing, buddy? Doing good. Super, super long lead on this, Justin, okay? So as he gets in, we'll go all the way back to the canvas with the rod tip way up and Dave will, Dave will try to stick. Okay. Looks pretty good. Now it looks like a king. Wasn't sure there at first. Here he comes. Wind down. Ready? Yep. Okay, we're going to go way, way up. Rod tip high. I mean, I've got, I've got a hold of the line, Dave. Yep. Good job. A little, little, little two part hand line job right there. Look at that. Wow. A beautiful king. There we go. Big, beautiful king. You can, see the, you can see the Twinkies coming right out of that. And there's the Jolly Green Johnny. The Johnny special that you hear us talk about all the time is the chartreuse version of that. But that's the straight green. We call that the Jolly Green Johnny. There it is. One of those old Challenger heads. And uh, a Twinkie rig lengthened out a little bit from our standard 41. We're running that guy at 50 today. Beautiful, beautiful king. Meat and Twinkie on the wire. Get right in there with Diamond Dave there, Justin. Look at that guy. What a beautiful king. Holy smokes. 
Congratulations, Justin. There's nothing like catching those big kings during the staging period. I hope you folks enjoyed today's video and that you learned something about fishing our Pro Troll lighted e chip flashers and also something about how to tie and effectively use the Twinkie rigs for staging kings. Thanks for watching.